Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Danger Collecting Pickups. This is number 108.3 and today we're going to be looking at uh, music and stereo equipment or audio equipment. Uh, Alright, to my left we're going to start off with vinyl and then we're going to follow that with a cassette tape and then into CDs. Alright, um, now just a quick story. Uh, recently I had one in another auction lot and it was loaded with vinyl. In that lot there was... Um, uh, a bunch of albums, but uh, just wanted to pull a few. In particular, there was this uh, mint copy of Van Morrison Moon Dance, and that will be for uh, Dana. And I'll just put that aside. Through a trade with my friend Scott, I was able to get a, uh, a near mint copy of um, Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon, and that's complete with all the inserts, uh, posters, and stickers. So it's um, very hard to find this one complete, um, and then it's uh, a little bit better if you find the UK version. <clears throat> In that auction lot, uh, there was also a couple Hendrix albums. Here are two of them. These are mint copies of the original stereo pressing um, for Are You Experienced and Axis Bold as Love. All right. I was also able to get um, Rolling Stones. There's the uh, lenticular cover there. It's trying to just moving for you as you could probably see it um, and that's mint and that's complete and actually it's hard to find the uh, insert um, you could uh, see it a little bit there pardon me um, the insert as you can see there um, so it's great to find very happy to finally finally find the Metallica Black Album this completes the Metallica collection to um, <laughs> the Black Album um, and that's in fantastic condition and from there we have a uh, or Iron Maiden picture disc this was obtained through my friend Scott as well and it includes the clairvoyant and the prisoner alright and that's great and was able to get a copy of Iron Maiden no prayer for the dying alright so some great vinyl there um, I don't know by the time my son grows up we will see if he's in this type of music Hopefully, um, he'll be into all types of music, but uh, it'll be great if he's definitely into this stuff. And then uh, there's a little something, something for Tana's collection. All right. Now, it was really great to get the uh, Metallica Black album, but here we have the Record Store Day um, cassette tape that was released this year. Uh, no Life to Leather. And I will leave this sealed, and I'm just going to show you without reading through it. Those are all the tracks that are on that tape. Alright, now, uh, in another, um, oh, the OB is coming out there, uh, in another lot, um, and I'll kind of maybe have a separate video later on um, to show what I got, which will be on the chopping block, but I was able to get uh, the box set, this is Clash um, the Singles, it has all 19 UK singles, and then we have Live at Chase Stadium, and we have Clash Live Revolution Rock. Um, that's a DVD 9, all right. In that lot as well, I was able to get a couple things which included um, Motorhead, Kiss of Death, Iron Maiden, that's an enhanced CD by the way. And that's, uh, I forget, it's an, it's an import, it's not print pressed here. Um, yeah, but I know it's, uh, oh, I want to say it's like, it was in Rio de Janeiro. It was somewhere. It was far away. <laughs> I'll, um, and then there's Killers. And then coincidentally, I had the No Prayer for Dying on CD. We got Hendrix, Electric Ladyland, uh, Live at Fillmore East, Megadeth Greatest Hits. Um, my copy was a little bit scratched. I just got a new copy of Pearl Jam, um, Let It Be, Beatles, and then um, Dark Side, uh, Pink Floyd, The Wall. Uh, Sex Pistols, um, Raw and Live, and then uh, my friend Marco gave me a signed copy, I just put it in this just to protect it, of uh, Good Times. Alright, and uh, if you want a copy of this, head down to Economy Exchange, say hi to Mark, and yeah, just go from there. Alright, so that those are all the um, media pieces, the vinyl, the CD, uh, and the cassette tape. <laughs> When's the last time anyone bought a cassette tape? <laughs> but uh, I got that from again from Dr. Disc. And um, now we're going to look at some of the audio equipment. Some of the uh, pieces will be transferring over into um, the Danger Bay that's uh, over at my new place. 
in our spare room. It includes, it's a little bit hard to see here, but I was I had it hooked up and I was just testing it out. It's the Bose um, 501 Series 5 Tower speakers. They sound fantastic. I can't even begin to explain how well they fill up the room. Um, so that's great for um, TV and stereo and that will be going um, over into uh, Danger Bay at the new place. And over here, we were able to get uh, some things. These will be going into the danger zone. That's my old bedroom upstairs um, with uh, some of the more rare stuff so that um, uh, my son can definitely appreciate this when he gets older. But uh, I was able to get on trade. It's a little bit dusty, but uh, there's a uh, Marantz um, um, 2220 uh, receiver. And I was able to get that through uh, trade at uh, Cash Converters, uh, thanks to my friend Ash. It's just a little bit dusty, but it works fantastic. All right. And through another epic trade <laughs> with my friend's uh, dad, I traded some um, of my laser discs. Not, not any of the good stuff, just more of the common stuff. And I was able to get these Bose um, 301 Series 4 speakers. And those just sound fantastic with this. All right. And that will be going in the danger zone. Um, and uh, we'll be going from there. All right, so that's another edition of Danger Collecting Pickups, number 108.3. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, in a separate video unrelated to Danger Collecting Pickups, I might just show you some other stuff I got that'll be on the chopping block. All right, so hope you're all well. Have a great day.